Welcome to a surprise episode of Xandercast, episode two and a half, because episode three was supposed to be Analog Kingdom. Because this podcast is all about the stories me and Xander does, say hi Xander. Hi. And Xander was uh, just recording on his brand new tape recorder I found in a drawer after 25 years. Yeah, it still had batteries in it that worked too. So, we were just talking about an imaginary story. I wanted to start with the Ninja Turtle story. Xander is a big fan of a certain time traveling show. What is that show? Well, the show is ba- Doctor Who, and I'm a big fan of Back to the Future. Turn that off, Xander. You can't hear it over it. Um. So he just got done watching the three Back to the Futures movies because I decided to buy a DeLorean toy and give it to him. So we had a story we were doing. What was the story? Ninja Turtle story, kid. Super Shredder stole the DeLorean to go back in time, the Super Shredder from the Nickelodeon show, to stop the turtles from ever getting mutated. Donatello went back in what? What did he go back in time with to follow him? TARDIS. And along his way, he started encountering what? Yep. Weird alternate reality transformations of the turtles. Like the mini ones, pirate ones. Shredder was messing with the timeline too much. And Donatello was able to defeat him, but what happened to Donatello? He got infected with rainbow. What did you call it, rainbowitis? They call it rainbowitis? So rainbow it is, it is. And all those alternate universe versions of himself. When Donatello fixed the timeline, they all tried to merge into one timeline. And Donatello got infected with multiple different versions of himself. So now he's going around infecting his other brothers with rainbow itis. And when we get home, I think there's going to be three more rainbow turtles sitting on my porch. So that's one mini story. That's why this is a half episode. We're just doing a couple of mini stories. And then, um, I told Xander I wanted to invent a band. I'm going to call them the Rainbow Screams. You know how we have all those different color Starscream type jet transformers? What colors do we have? have a full rainbow, don't we? Yeah. Except for orange. So maybe the rainbow screams, alternate universe star screams, can help stop the rainbow, the rainbow-itis with the power of music. Right? Sound wave, you think? Or blaster? They have to team up? Well, yes. They can make me. They can. They can uh, project the music, but they can't make the music. I think we need a band to make the music first, and record it on a cassette tape that we then play across multiple dimensions with blaster and sound wave. And that's how you defeat them. Sound good? All right. That's our mini story. We also had a Power Ranger story yesterday. What was our Power Ranger story?
we had a new character. We invented a key that turns into like a transformation one. It's part Dino Charger, part uh, Ninja Steel Star, and part Ranger Key. And it turns into a transformation pen. And you get a, a female Power Ranger that turns transforms like a like Sailor Moon. Yeah. Yep. We tried to get Mommy to write the story for us, but Mommy said nope. <laughs> we, we hijacked her into an episode uh, last time thought that would be enough to convince her to write us a story. And Mommy is going to be too busy. So I guess we'll have to invent that one ourselves, huh? Let's see. We also have the Ranger Slayer show up and the Black Megazord, the dark, evil, corrupted Megazord. Um, what's special about our pirate crew, though? What are they made out of? Mismatched pieces. Mismatched Ninja Turtle pieces and other characters. Yeah. We have Captain Raph. We have our Robo Rocksteady, the Metal Cowboy, who rides an attack alligator with a wheel for a hand. Most of them have random bits of hardware and erector pieces for limbs. Yeah. Like uh, Captain Raff has got a screw for an eye and a hook for a hand. Oh, and then yesterday we had Skeletor with wheels, our Skel on wheels, and his life mate, um, Lady Legs. And they both have babies. Little micro Lego, I think it's actually Mega Constructs or Constructix or whatever you call it. Of the universe. Yes. One is Faker and one is a little tiny um, Skeletor that ride on them. Yep, and we're going to dig out the rest of them and see if we can make ourselves a band. Again. The rainbow screens. Or just, a, how about just the screens? I like that. That sounds like a good band name, doesn't it? A good punk band? Like some of that music that you found on the tape? Yeah. Xander's playing with old cassette tapes. Yeah. Uh, he even has a necklace that's a cassette tape. Yeah. Just hanging on your door, kid. All right, I so the... Those are our mini stories for today. That's all we're gonna do for uh, this mini episode. That's why it's episode two and a half of Xandercast. Say goodbye. Bye. Four now. <laughs> Welcome back to Xandercast. <laughs> episode two and a half, part two. And why is it two and a half part two, Xander? I don't know. You don't know? Uh, did I just surprise you and spring this on you? Yes. All right. Well, the reason is, is that our last little mini episode, we had finished with talking about the story of the Rainbow Turtles and the uh, Misfit Pirates. But since then, we have come up with a lot more story. Right? Yep. It's kind of becoming a never-ending story. Every time we end one part of it, we decide to come up with a new part of it. Yeah. Um, you know the never-ending story is a real movie? With a dog dragon? Mm. Yep. Ask mommy. She'll love to watch it with you sometime. But, yeah. I see you have Starscream. He's part of our story. And he is all the way transformed into jet mode right now. I can't believe my dad didn't find out how to transform him. Oh, daddy didn't have that transformer as a kid. I had transformers that were a little more simple than that. Yeah, um, I know. Wait, I saw the story of Optimus Prime and the story of Bumblebee. Next will be the story of Megatron. Megatron? Yeah. Was this on Rescue Bots? No. Nope. Or regular Transformers? Regular Transformers. Okay, the original 80s cartoon? Yeah. Alright. Generation 1 and Generation 2. Yeah, I think G2 is what they say after the movie. All right. So anyways, your uncle had been talking to you about Transformers. I feel like that's information he would know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Captain Kyle knows that. 
Who the heck is Captain Kyle? You have to watch the story of Optimus Prime and oh, the story of Oh, that's that Netflix show you were talking about? It's or not Netflix, Amazon? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm going to make you watch that documentary on the toys then. No. Yep. I'm trusting you it'll be interesting. I know everything about Optimus Prime, the movie, and the toy. Oh, no, you don't. Trust me. Anyways. I know he, he returns. There. See? Oh, see? You spoiled the surprise. All right. right. let's. We're actually in the middle of an episode, Xander. No, no. So, when we ended our last episode, we were talking about the, um, the only way to defeat the rainbow itis turtles that were poisoned from going from multiple dimensions and, and all the different versions trying to merge into one. And we created rainbow turtles. Rainbow Donatello. Because he was time traveling to stop Super Shredder from preventing them from being mutated. Well, then he went on and infected his brothers, and they were trying to infect everything with Rainbow Itis, right? Mm -hmm. So, how did we defeat the Rainbow Itis turtles? Music. Yep. Who made the music? The screens. Who were the screens? There are all the different colors of star screen, rainbow colors. But then they find out there's an orange. Wait, we haven't gotten to that point yet. That was our last episode. So they use music and they use Soundwave and Blaster team up, even though they're good guys and bad guys, to broadcast the music all across the universe. And that's how you defeat the Rainbow Turtles, right? Uh, no. No? Tell me the what Rainbow I'm missing. Rainbow Turtles go to a concert. Oh. All right. You know there is a band that dresses up in costumes? Did I tell you that? Like the Transformers from the movie? Yeah, 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 you did. All right. Anyways, they're called the Cybertronian something. I know. I can't remember what their name now. Anyways, so at the end of that episode, we get a surprise people for our To Be Continued. Who shows up at the end of that episode? Um, the Space Zombie. Oh, you know what? We're missing an episode. It's before we get to that. The Space Pirates, or the uh, Misfit Pirate Crew shows up with the pirate ship. I, I found that I invented a lot of uh, the um, original story. You started and I finished. Mm -hmm. So we have the Misfit Pirates. They show up and battle and then become friends. Now that, what's, what's weird about that version of the Misfit Pirates? What are they made out of? They're from... They're made out of other turtles. They're made out of pieces from other people. Yep. So they're mixed up action figures. Um, and their captain is? Captain Ralph. So he's a, from a pirate universe of yep. Ninja Turtles. He's, he's, but, um, he's from the weird planet. The weird planet? Yeah. All right. So even though they were able to separate all the universes trying to merge back into one, the Rainbow Turtles, a rift opened up and they wound up getting an attack from one of the alternate universe versions. It would be the pirate version of Raphael. And they battle and they become friends and realize they shouldn't be fighting, right? Then we get... Oh wait, let's talk about some of the characters real quick. Who's some of our misfit pirate crew that we have? Um, Captain Ralph, Captain... Admiral Headhand. Why is it? Why is he called Admiral Headhand? Because he has a head for a hand. Uh huh. And Princess Cookie, she's the cook. She's cook. the cook. Because we um rainbow um glued. Yeah. We glued kitchen rainbow utensils to our hands. Kitchen utensils for her hands, and it was for for the back of her. Yes, she has very wild hair. It's very hard to contain. Basically, a mini doll head attached to a stormtrooper body. Yeah. Um. Do we have anyone else in that? Oh, Albert. Oh, yeah. Uh, Who's a, who is a cyborg uh, Wolverine figure actually named Albert, but he's got a big old round eyelet for his hand for swinging on chains. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, robot uh, Rocksteady. I just remembered him. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, wow. Yeah. All right. So that's our Misfit Pirate crew. And then we get where someone new shows up. And starts shooting at them. And breaks the blue 
the screen, breaks his wings right off, and yeah. breaks the yeah. Cybertronian version of Starscream. Um, breaks his wings off, and he's lost in space. And then he gets fixed by the same person who brought um, Optimus Prime back. Well, I think we had two versions of Starscream. We had the Earth Jet one, and we had the Cybertron Jet one. Yeah. The Cybertron Jet one is the one you broke, and then lost his body, which he's part of our next story to find him. Yeah. And... But I can't find the body. Yes, because remember, we've been mixing alternate universes so we can have two different versions of the same people, or Starscreams with different colors. We can't find the body. I know, you're going to have to keep looking. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. I don't want to. Anyways, I'd rather use the one that's already broken. Anyways, the blue one, and you broke the wings off the blue one, so there. We, but we fixed a blue one. Yes, we bought another figure that was different and took them apart to replace the broken pieces. Yep. Um, so... Space Sub shows up and shoots everyone and breaks two of the figures and one of them is lost in space. And everyone scatters. How are we going to... Alright, tell us about the Space Sub crew. Who do we have on that? Um... Mushroom Head. He's the only name we made. Mushroom Head. Oh, and Mr. You. Oh, yeah. Mr. You is a figure I made a while ago made up from mixed up um, Beast Wars parts. But we don't know anyone else's name. Nope. Now, here is the complicated part. What's that? How the space sub was made. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's super long. Yeah. Well, you got uh, a few more characters. Well, who is the captain of the space sub? Um, Captain Ralph's brother. Triceratron. Triceratron. Who's a robosaur. Yeah, and uh, he hits Let's talk about how the space sub was made. Okay, because I was in the middle of talking about the characters, but we can come back to that. So, um, ten universes away on a planet called the Weird Planet, there was two brothers. One was Captain Ralph. One was Triceratron. Captain Raph was the older one. And Triceratron was the younger one. Captain Raph um, got his pirate ship certificate. He got it from his... He inherited his pirate ship from his dad. That's what I said last time. Is that right? Um, or do you want to change that? I'm going to change that. Okay, that's fine. Because I had thought they had a Pirate King father. And when he died, he... The older brother inherited the pirate ship and all that. And the younger brother didn't get anything. What are you thinking it's going to be? I am thinking he graduated pi misfit pirate um, class with his friends. And um, then he built a pirate ship. Okay, that's fair. Out of... But, instead of building it on his home planet, he built it off of wood. He, be, he brought the wood to um, Earth in his weird space ship, which um, has a gravity um, filter so the wood doesn't float around and smack him in the face. Okay, that's fair. All right. Now, Triceratron was pretty angry about it, no, uh, right? No, no, we don't want to do that until he gets Then he gets to us, and right when he got to us, back on the weird planet, his brother, Triceratron, just had, had just started gathering materials. But the first material he needed was plastic because he had plastic space um, um, sub mold, but um, he didn't have plastic. Plastic is as strong as metal because on the weird planet because metal is 
Bayer. Okay, that's fair. And um, he got the plastic, rolled it into a sub, and then he went to find everything metal he would need. And then he put the space together, and then went to a planet named Earth. Right. And then he accidentally crossed, he, uh, he paused time because whoever was there, he didn't want them to know. But what after the space sub was, um, the pirate crew left, he took the, um, Star screen and the yellow screen onto his planet, but they were up front. And then made a cardboard on um, 3D um, pictures of the other screens because back on the rare planet, um, cardboard is 3D. All right. And then, he, um, when they get to Apple. He also got um, Optimus Prime and um, the and Megatron. Oh, that's getting complicated now. Yeah. Are they prisoners? Um, technically, but they're not in any type of prison. And then when the on the pirate crew and the screens have cleaned up, but the, the other screens were actually 3D remote control, that's cardboard on the planet, and then they brought, uh, went to, um, and then they went, and then Optimus Prime and Megatron came in, and the yellow screen. Alright. You don't find out that star screen is there until later. Alright. So, then, um, they, oh, and they also took captured three Constructicons, one of the three we have. <laughs> you added a lot of Transformers to this story. Yeah, because we already have done that. Alright, so we're almost at home, so we'll have to do a part three to talk about the characters. But yeah. uh, real quick, I wanted to tell you about some parts of today's episode that I had thought of. So, Unis uh, the space sub comes, he attacks, he breaks some of the screams. Apparently, he kidnaps Transformers. Yep. Um, now, the leftover screens are have to go on a quest to defeat the space sub. They need to find Uniscreen. But they're missing a few pieces to do that. For example, there is a lost screen. What color screen don't we have? Orange. They don't even make that. So you know what we have to do? Paint one orange. We have to. Well, in the story, the unit, the leftover screams have to make the orange scream. They have to assemble all his pieces. He was considered so dangerous that they took him apart and scattered his pieces across the universe. So our first quest is to find him, and then we need to find the rainbow guitar. And that's how we'll summon... Uniscreen, but we can't even find the rainbow guitar until we find the orange screams pieces and put them together because he knows where it's at. It's programmed in his brain. Oh, there we go. He wasn't dangerous. He sacrificed himself. Of all the screams in ancient times, when they played ancient music long before they were reprogrammed into modern music, there was a magical orange screen. And they used their power of music to save the universes and keep them all separate where they were supposed to be. Except, after defeating their last bad guy, they realized the power was too great they had. What if a bad guy got their power? So they hid away their orange, or I mean, they hid away their magic rainbow guitar. And the orange guy was the only one left with the knowledge of where it was. The rest of them wiped their minds. And to save the universe, he sacrificed himself, and every screen took a single piece of him to different parts of the universe. It's only recently that the Screams band has come back together. 
Yeah, only reason. So that's where we're on. We're on our quest for the orange screen. So we can eventually build Uniscreen. Yep. To be continued. Bum, bum, bum. All right, welcome back to episode two and a half, part three. Yes. And we are talking about the space pirates. Yep. Um, and we talked a little bit about their uh, story, where they're going. Now, I wanted to tell you some of the stories I came up with about the characters. Uh, so there's Triceratron, Raph's brother. Um, who's part robot, part dinosaur. But you don't find that out till um, later when Megatron says, Hey, Ray, we aren't on Earth. We are on a space sub. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. U, because he's unknown, unstable, Un uncanny, unpredictable. And he's made up of various Beast Wars parts. Yep, because they're so easy to break and so easy to put from different places. They're easy to mix and mismatch. Um, but I could never figure out what the base figure was for him, so I just called him the Unknown Soldier. But you've been calling him Mr. U. Um, I decided that he has, he gets bits and pieces of memories from all the people he's made up of. Yep. So that's why he gets confused all the time and switches personalities. Um, that's a guy I had created years ago. I already had him made up on the shelf. But now this new guy I'm making up, Mushroom Head. He's got a mushroom with a flower coming out of it on top of his head, and on top of that flower is a tiny little Ninja Turtle head. And he's built out of a metal head body. So here's a few things that came out for his story. So, it is a hybrid fungus plant species that was on a planet whose primary sentient species killed themselves off. So there were multiple different species on one planet. They killed themselves all off in a war, right? Mm -hmm. But their blood on all the battlefields kind of influenced and changed the evolution of these fungus plants. So they sort of evolved their own kind of sentience, but they're multi-conscious. Do you know what that means? Uh, it means they have the minds of many of the different species that they... Um, are part of that kind of influence or evolution. Because of the extreme environments they were in, they can self-mutate. Meaning they can mutate their body to suit whatever environment they want. They're highly adaptable. But they're not mobile on their own. They cannot move on their own. So how did this one move? It um, got, became a part of a broken down soldier. Soldier robot. Yep. It took its pieces and kind of used vines and whatever to piece it back together and make it mobile. Mm -hmm. But it's one of its arms is a flower. Mm -hmm. Um. So here's a part I came up with that you may not know. Remember that purple ooze we saw leaking out of a dumpster? Oh, yeah. And we made up a story that it was purple mutagen yeah. that only affects plants? Okay. Maybe purple mutagen is the blood of that species. It is. And Krangs years ago harvested those creatures to synthesize their own version of mutagen. The green mutagen we all know from Ninja Turtles. But it originally was the blood of these uh, fungus plants. Okay? Okay. You already told them that. Alright. So there's that. Um... Who else do we have in it? Oh, Ninja Turtles, man. Sushi, who has a fish for a head and a fish tank for a body. Here's the funny part. The fish on his head is not what controls him. What is the it? The fish in the fish tank in his chest is what controls him. And you can switch it out to give him different powers. Sound good? Yes. Oh, and if you ever get um, the first um, unicorn they released, um, put... Um, a minicon on his little minicon place on his back and then when you do that don't point him at don't point his chest at you believe me yeah, we accidentally almost shot your eye with the thing yeah. 
probably would not have felt good. It didn't. Alright. Believe <laughs> me. So there's mushroom head, there's sushi. Um Ooh, cheeseburger head. Oh yeah, that's a Fortnite guy. Yeah. Um I'm gonna make up a skeleton guy. Right? Skeletron? Skeleton. Skeleton. skeleton rainbow parts? Yes. I think his center is going to be um, a skull and like a rib cage from a skeleton, but his arms are going to each be a different color from a different figure. Sound good? Yes. Yeah. Um, Triceratron has got tank treads for legs. Mm -hmm. ah. And one of his arms is a wrecking ball. Yeah, because they're from the weird planet. Watch Xandercast episode two and a half, part two. Okay. Um. You know, I have a bunch of notes about all the guys I came up with, and I can't remember them all. I think that's most of them, right? Yeah. You got any notes you want to add before we sign off on this um, episode until we come up with more? Yeah. You know what we can do in episode four? Because episode three was supposed to be the Analog Kingdom. Episode four, you know what we could do? What? The Monster Family. Remember them? Yeah. That's a whole story we haven't told them about yet. All right, so we'll sign off on this part for now. Wait, no. Um... If you ever get the Armada Unicorn, um, read the instructions to transform him. Alright. Done.